Hello guys. So I decided to create this short video. Let's try to make it short because I think it's more fun that you see my little friend working than just the Reddit post. Uh, so basically we have here many, many agents, right? In this, in this four tabs, four tabs. This one is not working yet. Uh, so the first, the first, the first tab here, it's going to collect website. It, the, it, this block here basically use Brave search MCP to collect the websites uh, online. So you can type whatever you want here. Let's type, for example, plumbing New York. All right. And let's select here 10 searches of 10 websites. No, no, let's do five and five. Otherwise it's going to take forever. Of course, you can type a big number here and you're going to try to find uh, for more time. It can be working here for hours trying to find website. All right. Brave search MCP, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, has one uh, one second delay each, con each, each, each time you use the, their API or something like that. You can also use a list. Let's say if you have a list of websites of your city, you can type a list of, of uh, oh, you need to wait here that it finish. So it found here two websites. I, it's excluding this one because it's duplicated. I already did this, this search before. So let's add this website manually. All right. So now we have here 13 websites uh, on, 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 the, on the next on the next pipeline. On this pipeline for the analyzer. This here uses cloud 3.7, uh, sorry, and analyze the website uh, using 15 criteria that ChatGPT gave me, right? For example, if the website use, uh, use Flash, if the website uh, takes more than three seconds to load, if the website's not responsive, all right? So I asked ChatGPT what are the criteria to for an ugly and outdated website, and it gave me 15, and I implemented with Cloud, all right? So basically, when I click here, it's going to start one by one to find websites that are outdated, all right? So analyze true, and they are good. They are good. They are not bad. Soon it's going to find websites here that are outdated because I, I added here some manually here so just so we can make the test and of course while this agent is working you can come here and keep adding keep adding either manually or uh, using the brave search mcp all right and you can keep adding here and let this thing work the whole night all right so as you see now it found already four websites that are that are outdated let's just wait that it finish and this brings the websites that it finds that out outdated to the next here. I'm going to explain how it works in a second. I mean, we don't need to wait to finish, right? So basically what this screen does, this agent does, it takes the website that is outdated. You can, you can see why the website is outdated right here. For example, this one has two major issues. One, it's because use flash, all right? uh this one right here is out, outdated look this one has google google plus links google plus doesn't doesn't even exist anymore and so on like i said 15 this one use code fusion uh which is a big no-no chat pg said not me and then this one here is out, outdated because uh, have outdated html and blah 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 all right it finished already yeah it finished so now if i refresh here i have more websites. No, I have just this ones. So these ones were outdated, right? It found four websites that were outdated. So this here is the only manual part for now. I don't know if I'm going to automate that, but basically what you do here, you come here, you can visit the website. You can visit the website and see if the website's bad, right? Uh, this one is, oh, sorry. This one is bad but not so, i mean yeah it's horrible yeah it's very, very bad i think this one is the one that use flashes use flash so let's see this one right here wow well, this one is horrible this one is very bad let's see this one horrible as well and this one yeah also also deserve uh a rebranding yeah? they deserve a better website all right so basically let's mark all of them for production 
All right, so I'm gonna mark this for production, mark this for production, this for production. And let's say I don't want to mark for production. You enter in the website and the website is actually good. You don't want to, to produce this website. You don't want to build this website. You can click here, all right? You can also see the copy, co the, the source code here, but let's mark all of them for production, all right? So now I can select one and build by itself, or I can just type, or I can just click here and out production, which gonna produce, uh, gonna build all of them so let's click here and it's gonna it's gonna now start to produce one by one all right and i'm gonna cut the cut this because it takes like a, approximately three minutes per website basically what it does it's, it's sending to cloud the source code of the website cloud gonna receive that and then gonna have all the text all the images it's gonna produce a new website a better website based on a big prompt that i did all right, so using new technology, use, you know, uh, good CS and blah, blah, blah. So look, it just finished one and now it's sending to my, it's sending to my GitHub, all right? Now you're going to start the next one in a second. As you see, now it's starting the second one. So whenever this finish, I come back. All right, so it just finished to do all the websites. All right, so now if I go to my GitHub right here and click here, you're gonna see that it just did all the websites. All right, and now I open it right here to save time. So if you compare the old website with the new one that Cloud created, all right, it's better, all right, way better. And of course I can improve on that, all right? I can always improve and the the prompts and this is was also the old website and cloud create this website for this company all right so basically that's it and now here my plan is that to display here the websites that are ready and then because we get, because we have the source code of the website we can we can parse we can we can figure out the email of the company for example or the phone and we can automatically send this is what i'm going to do automatically send email for them offering them the website with a link already for the new website all right of course it's just the front page all right but what I, if, if they if they want if they see the front page you know the, the, the first page now the main page of the website and say wow i i like because I, of course i'm going to offer for very very cheap since this works automatically uh, and can be working for 24 hours building website uh, if they decide that they want, and then I gonna of course build the rest of the website, all the pages, and you know refine everything, and then I'm doing this with webs with sorry doing this with cloud. I can literally do one one website per like every thirty minutes or even less maybe, and maybe I can also automate a lot of things. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is awesome. All right, I can't even believe that I did that. And here, even though it says for agents, there's actually many agents working simultaneously on the back on the, on the back end of this. And it's actually kind of crazy. And I, wa I wanted to show this. I played this for two days in a row. I built maybe, I built maybe 30 websites or maybe not 30, maybe, but more than 20 for sure, making tests, all right? And I spent this on cloud using 3.5 Sonnet the last the last latest version right so it's literally i did i did automatically 30 websites maybe 30 right more than 20 for this cost so yeah that's kind of crazy i hope you guys enjoyed i think this shows what we can do with ai even me that i don't even understand a single line of these codes here right i don't know a single line that is here right look at this this code here which is the big one has 2000 lines of code and then this one right here which is the one that builds the website have more 800 pay 800 800 lines i don't understand a single line of this all right that's it i think this video is gonna be too big uh bye bye guys